Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, thank you all the members, all the patrons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it guys. So today I wanted to talk about the Mika missiles, a lot of people are talking about the Mika missiles due to the Mirage 2000-5 coming to the game. If you don't know, this was one of the first aircraft to actually use this missile and it is obviously a French missile, very similar to other Fox 3s but it is a, it's such an interesting missile, it's very similar to the concept that the python like pythons and derbies have but even better sometimes you know it's it's a pretty amazing missile if you ask me so let's talk about the mika itself and if it could be added in game right now because a lot of people are asking for that and trying to understand why the super 530 is added to the mirage 2000-5 and not the mika so let's address these issues first of all what is the mika so the mika is two missiles actually, uh, normally, initially at least. Uh, we have a Raider one, which is the Mika EM, and we have an IR version, uh, infrared, right? Uh, the Mika IR. So it's two missiles that are very, very similar to each other, basically the same missile with a different seeker head. That's pretty much it, right? And it is, a, it's just, I mean, it's amazing. The performance of this thing is amazing. Uh, it was made to actually substitute the Super 530 and the Magic 2 at the same time. So it's both a short range, a very capable missile of a, for a dogfight or something, but also a very, very capable BVR weapon at the same time. So yeah, it's very, very interesting. About the performance of it, we can talk about first on the EM version. So it will have all the features that a normal Fox 3 missile will have, right? So obviously the active seeker, uh, obviously, INS, Inertial Navigation System, together with a data link to the mothership to actually receive uh, mid-courses updates. Uh, remember, these active seekers, they do have a short range normally. Um, around, in normally, it, it is around 10 to 20 kilometers, depending on the version, or maybe even more, depending on the missile, it can get to 25. But yeah, very short range, right? So they use the INS together with a data link to actually uh, increase this range uh, and make sure that the missile knows where the target is before it even goes active. This makes it a silent killer, right? It makes it so that the missile only turns itself on on the last couple of se I mean, the last moments of the flight and then it actually hits the target um, with the active seeker, right? So uh, not giving too much away for, uh, you know, an RWR or anything like that until the latest moments uh, possible, right? So, like any other Fox 3. But the thing is the flight performance of these missiles. I mean, the Raider 1 and the IR-1, um, they both turn from like 350 meters to like 7 kilometers up to 50 Gs, man. So, 50 Gs, man. That's like... R73 or even better than R73 levels of performance. It is a very, very capable missile at short ranges. Between 7 and 12 kilometers, it could turn around 30 Gs. And of course, after that, it loses energy. So depending on the situation, it will end up not turning as much. Just like any other missile, right? But initially, it's amazing. 50 Gs, I mean, come on. Of course, disclaimer, uh, sources can be wrong about other missiles or even the Mika. And I mean, it's, I mean... We cannot know for sure how it's going to be added, if added at all, in the future. But, you know how things are. Let's go with what we have. So, for example, the R-77 turns 30 Gs. The M120 is until the C-5. It's the latest information that I could get. Which is a contemporary missile to the Mika. Uh, in the late 90s, it turns 28 Gs. So, 50 Gs for such a missile, it is a very, very powerful G-turn. Uh, with a max range of around 80 kilometers, of course the effective range would be around 40, maybe something like that. It is still a very, very long range, um, you know, compared to other missiles. So, it's it got it all, man. It got it all. I mean, it got the, the short range dogfighting, you know, performance. It got the range. It is a Fox 3. And of course, we have even the Mika IR, which can do all of these things. It has basically the same flight performance, so 50 Gs up to 7 kilometers, 30 Gs up to 12. Uh, but also, uh, it changes the, the seeker head for an IR. So um, it would be very similar to something like the R37 ET or T, right? But 
with some extra spice to it. That's the thing, man. The Mika IR can actually use the INS together with Datalink, together with the mothership, uh, to actually get mid-core corrections and get a late lock uh, to the target in the IR guidance. Apparently, I mean, at least most sources claim that. So not only you have a very powerful Fox 3 missile for very long ranges, if you will, or short ranges as well, turning like no other missile in the game, but also, uh, you can use the IR passive seeker of the Mika IR to actually get kills from very far away, um, completely stealthy. So it's a very deadly missile. Of course, um, it has the problems of an IR missile, but I guarantee that it has very high levels of IRCCM as well, right? So this is the performance of the Mika, man. It's an amazing missile that turns a lot if it needs to. But it can choose to go the further distance and cut targets from very far away as well, being a very, very capable BVR missile. So compared to other Fox 3s, we have a big problem over here. Especially, I mean, if you compare to the Demon 20s and to the C5, which is a late 90s version, uh, if you compare even to the R77 or even to the R77-1 that has a lot more range than the normal one, not a lot more range, but around 20 kilometers more, uh, they all basically turn the same, 28 Gs for the Demon 20 and 30 for the R77. Of course, for further distances, they will all turn basically the same, right? But for shorter distances, I think the Mika will basically stop these two missiles. And even, I mean, it's basically compared to the Derby, even the Derby, they say it's 50 Gs. Uh, so it would be compared to that, which is another missile that could be coming to the game in the future uh, with these rallies, right? So, very, very dangerous missiles, even compared to the other Fox 3s, right? Um, so, it's pretty, pretty advanced. It's a very, very advanced missile. So, the, the, the question is, could it be in the game? Yes, it could. But not right now, guys. Not right now. It would be too OP. Even the IR version, uh, which, I mean, maybe people don't want the, the Raider version to be added. But maybe add the IR version, right? But the, the thing is that the IR version it might be even more deadly than the Fox 3. Uh, just due to the fact of having the inertia navigation system course uh, with the data link course, uh, course cor mid course correction, right? And stuff. So it might be even more OP than the Fox 3. I mean, even compared to Fox 3s that are not in the game right now, like the R77, like the M120 like even other missiles, right? So, could it be in the game? Yes, it probably will be. Fairly soon, I think. But not for now, man. It really is, it doesn't have a place in the game right, right now. Uh, I don't think, I mean, it's, it's, I don't even know if it could be added together with other Fox 3s. As I said, the R77 and the Moon 20 will not have the short range performance of the Mika. I still think that if it's going to be added, uh, if, if it's supposed to be added or not, you know, I think it should. I mean, if it's going to be added together with Fox 3s, if the decision is to add it or not together with other Fox 3s, I think it should. Because if not, France will basically not have other Fox 3s. But still, I mean, it w they will have a very good advantage. They will have a, a very good advantage. It's a very deadly missile from short range. And of course, I mean... If you compare to the Russians, I mean, the, at least the Russians have the R-73. Uh, later, they have the R-73M, which is from around the same era of the Mika IR, right? So, yeah, the Russians can have the R-73s, R-73Ms and stuff. Uh, I think the Ing-9X started to get into production um, in the late 90s, if I'm not mistaken, as well. Or something similar to that around the same era as the Mika um, IR as well. So, of course, the Russians, the Americans, they do have other missiles that can be added to counter, especially the Mika IR. Um, but, I mean, we're talking about A9Xs, man, R73Ms. So, you only about talking about the, I mean, we're talking about these missiles. So, of course, right now, it's not the time for adding the Mika. So, if the Super 530 and the Magic 2 are kind of weird to be added right now. Well, I mean, there's nothing else they can do. It has to be these missiles because the Mika would basically be the best missile in the game. 
I mean, you could be able to shoot, I don't know how many missiles at a single time, like four maybe, and four different targets, and then fire two IRs. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's too OP, man, it's too OP. I really wish for this missile, but it needs to come with a counter. Uh, yes, the Russians in the US are always the top dogs. It's time for France. No, I don't think so. You know, I think we need balance, not more power creep balancing and swinging from one nation to the other every single patch, right? So if they're going to add it, which uh, I, they might do this year, I think they will, uh, like in the, they said with the PL12 uh, in the J8F devlog, uh, so they probably will add these missiles, but not right now. It's not the time for it. And yeah, we need more advanced aircraft. We need um, everybody to get a, a piece of this type of missile at the same time. If not, power creep all the way to space, basically. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think about the Mika missile. Very advanced Fox 3 NIR missile. Uh, I cannot wait to actually fire these missiles with a Mirage 2000-5, but it's not the time yet. Let me know in the comments what you think about it, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. See you.